All right, take a look at your screen right there. Across China, authorities are now going all in on crippling COVID lockdowns and unleashing massive human rights violations against innocent citizens as residents now are literally being locked into their own homes and apartments, unable to leave, all facing severe punishment and pro uh, prosecution. Uh, if they dare to question any of this, sadly, it appears to only be getting worse. And as a new warning from the U.S. Embassy is suggesting, that lockdowns are about to intensify. But many brave Chinese citizens, they are standing up for their freedom. They are refusing to comply with the never-ending COVID lockdown madness that is gripping China. But the Biden administration, they seem to have no reaction at all whatsoever. Why is that? Why don't they stand in solidarity with people that believe in freedom? Take a look. What is the president's reaction when he hears protesters in China chant freedom or Xi Jinping step down? The president's not going to speak for protesters around the world. They're speaking for themselves. And so there's no reaction? This, the, the, these protesters are speaking for themselves. What we are doing is making it clear that we support the right of peaceful protest. Does the White House support the, their, their effort to sort of regain their personal freedoms in light of these lockdowns? The White House supports the right of peaceful protest. You know, Gordon, uh, the last time I can think of anything similar was Tiananmen Square. And, and I think most people remember that iconic image of this guy standing in front of a tank and the tank would move and he'd move in front of the tank and the tank would move again to get around and move back in the other direction. So this is very unusual for China, but they're also calling for President Xi to step down. That's not something I expected to see. Now, it's fascinating to me because for two years I've been warning about this new access of evil, which is a relationship with Russia and China and Iran. And all three of these countries now are experiencing unrest at the same time. Now, is it possible? I don't think you win revolutions with slingshots, but is it possible President Xi has to worry about his regime? I think he certainly does, because the protesters on the Chinese streets over the weekend were not only saying that Xi Jinping must step down, they were saying that the Communist Party has to leave China because the Chinese people want to govern themselves. And that is revolutionary. And right now, the Communist Party is rounding up people because China has um, maybe 620 million surveillance cameras. It has artificial intelligence, facial recognition, which, by the way, they got from Microsoft and others. And they can identify all of these people. You know, it is the number one job of American president to clearly and proudly defend and promote freedom and democracy. And we didn't hear that from John Kirby. We didn't hear it from President Biden's statement. Shame on us, because these are our values. And when we don't promote our values, the Chinese notice.